What if I told you it wasn't that long ago that there was a gun that you ran into literally every single raid that for some weird reason recently doesn't seem to exist? And this gun is the SA-58 or the FAL as it's better known. The truth is the FAL or the DS Arms SA-58 used to be the king of meta. You almost saw it practically every single raid with the age old standard build. But with some recent changes to the large drum magazines and the fact that the foul actually got a chunk more recoil added to it, also with the introduction of the Chris Vector, this gun really fell from favor within the community. Now I don't really understand why because I've been using it a lot recently and even with ammos like M80 or M62, it's still absolutely nuts. There's some really good trades you can actually do to get your hands on the gun, like this one from Mechanic where you can trade four Nixor lenses for a long barrel SA-58 with a DT suppressor. Now obviously you can take off the suppressor and put on a compensator like the Fortis Red Compensator. Some of the different stocks for the foul got buffed as well, as well as this DSA stock here got buffed quite significantly and to make matters even better, it's actually quite cheap. This build in general costs you about 170,000 rubles, which is really good for the stats that we managed to pull here, considering I went all out with a nice scope and also a laser. Now, if you can't get your hands on the ammo, you can actually craft M61 from your workbench for six red gunpowder and two radiator helixes. Then again, you don't always have to use M61 as you have the choice between M80 and M62 as well. M80 comes with 80 flesh and 41 pen, and M62 got nerfed from a high 50 pen down to 44 pen with 79 flesh. The M62 is still really good and I would recommend running this as the mid-tier round. The best thing however is the fact that M80 is quite cheap at the moment on the flea market. Now a lot of people are going to be preaching that you have to run M61 and with the amount of gear getting around in the community I would kind of agree. But the truth is these other two ammos are just as good with the fire rate of the foul as long as you're hitting your shots. But M61 is still nuts with 70 flesh and 64 pen and I believe to be one of the most OP rounds in this game if not completely and utterly busted. Now the truth is about the foul if you are going to run it loud it has some crazy muzzle flash and you need to be wary of this. So I would consider running the gun suppressed. If you happen to run the gun suppressed however you lose a lot of ergo I would swap out the grip for something with a little bit of a better ergo hit. An example would be going from the Zenit RK2 to something like the Ford Shift Grip or the Cobra. There's plenty of different choices for suppressors. However, the best 308 suppressor in the game right now is the Thunder Beast. However, you can use plenty of the other different options considering they are much cheaper on the flea. So you don't always need to go for the Thunder Beast. When it comes to choosing mags for the gun, this is actually really important. If you're using a suppressed foul, I would recommend using 20 round mags, especially the polymer mags from Mechanic, the tan variant, as they have only a negative two ergo debuff and are really, really good. However, if you're running the gun loud, I would consider running a 30 round mag. You can actually get the bent 30 round mags from Peacekeeper level max, which are actually the best ergo penalty to mag size ratio. I would avoid using drums, however, if you want to run around and shoot the gun from the hip, that is an option. However, drums really do destroy your ergo, considering that they are now negative 20, not even including the weight of the entire loaded magazine. When it comes down to the meta build, not much has changed, however. It's still going to be the same thing, except that with the buffer tube, you can use the MESA hydraulic buffer tube, as well as the fact that it's still the Mo grip. Still the same pistol grip and when it comes over to the handguard it's the Kasev handguard with the Zenit RK2. Now for the compensators it's still the age-old blast mitigation device with the A3 adapter and also the Lantec Dragon compensator. Now this whole combo together gets you a really really nice bit of ergo but this build is not 100% necessary. You can definitely skip out on the stock option that I went out here it's not really worth all the extra money and you can also probably switch out the Zenit RK2 for something a little bit nicer like the Zenit RK1 but regardless of all the different builds here the foul is still insane so enjoy some raids with this gun I've actually had an absolute blast running this gun again and now that it hasn't been in every single raid it does feel justified to run it for a little bit I've been really enjoying it in multiple different types of ways, whether it's running around and shooting it like a madman or sniping from range. This gun is so versatile and an absolute friggin' joy to use. So enjoy some crazy raids with this gun that I film live on my Twitch. If you guys want to see me running this gun live, as always guys, the link for that will be featured down below. Enjoy.
fucking game. Somehow I just gamed on him. It's probably the most Chad thing I've done tonight. I'm just trying to switch it up a bit. I don't really use fouls anymore, so I'm trying to fall back in love with this gun. I tried out some different builds, so this one's the sweaty version of the gun. We've tried a couple. Like, you used to run into this gun constantly, man. Nowadays, I think because of how long it is, you don't really see it much. Yes, we're here on the shoreline. Is a map we play very often. Yes. All right, boy. Let's get her. We like well, a. <laughs> You're right there. He's the one yelling, not me. <laughs> oh, no, I'm I'm as well. Where is he? Alrighty. He yelled like right. All right, whatever. Oh, there he is in the bush. Why are scavs the best players? Oh no. Is big he lag. Died. He died a good second after I killed him. <laughs> yes. Hey, you got the good floor. I don't know what you're complaining about. Oh! Yeah, got STM up. or I'm pushing to the middle. Wait, are you on. I'm second on second level? Ones. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just heard a STM in. Where? Um, Sorry? In East. It sounded like in East, yeah. I don't have 220 if you want to do that. You don't have 220? Oh, I haven't bought any shotline keys. I just Range. have what I found, which is now nearly all of them except for 220. <laughs> I mean, if I was downstairs, it's the barbed wire here. Oh boy! Is that the first floor of East? It's definitely East. I'm not sure what floor. It's got to be first or third, not second. Fuck! I want to fight them, but I want them to walk into my bullets first, and then I fight them. You know what I mean? Can you, you walk run the out? bridge? Ugh. Run the bridge. Well, they aren't on second, to be fair. I mean, I could if Drake watches my ass, but it should be the no, other no. way. I think I should just use the hammer to scope out. Actually, you're right. I should be the one that pushes. All right, are you going to watch the whole way, mate? Uh, yeah. You ready? Yeah, mate. My... All right. Three, two, one. I'm not hearing they anything. They definitely would have heard it. All right, I'm going to come across. I think they're on first. Probably fighting over ooh, 110. Wood? I said wood on my right. Okay. A technical room, maybe? Mm -hmm. I'm going to third real quick. Yep. Yeah, I reckon he's in that technical room. I hate clearing the resort and someone's just sitting there listening because he has all the info. What do you do? Whoa. Is that at you? No. Fuck it. I'm pushing down the far end. The first. Yeah. He's... All right. Fuck it. I'm gonna start pushing along first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see a dead player. Mhm. Mm this is my nade. Is someone looting him? Maybe. Oh, yeah, he's close to me. Did he move I from think... that? I think so. I heard something move. I doubt it was you. He's near 110, I think. Judging by what I can hear, I think he's up near the middle stairs, man. Okay. Overweight, so I can't creep. So if I move, ah, I'm, I'm just gonna push along first and die. Be ready to fight. But yeah, he just ADS. It's somewhere near the middle stairs, I'm pretty sure. Are you running? Well, he was exactly where I thought he was, but three meters to the right. I'm dead. So in wood room or like directly next no, to it in that no, little cupboard? No, 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 no. He's sitting out in the corridor, but next to wood room and uh, middle stairs. I would literally never in my fucking life think someone was sitting there. It's such a fucking dumb place to sit. Oh my God. Ah, chat. Fine. <laughs>
Jeez. All those guys were being so quiet. What were they doing, dude? I sat there waiting. Drake and I, these guys were here, dude. What were they doing? Were they all on first? Just like having a bits touching meeting? Back in the pile, everyone. We're going back to the pile. Jump in, on, on, everybody. We're going back to the pile. <laughs> like, what? 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 There were three, Drake. There were three? Yes. Did they get you, buddy? No, nah, I got all three. You got all three? <laughs> The fucking Eagle, no fucking game Somehow I just gamed on him. It's probably the most Chad thing I've done tonight. Why couldn't you game when I was fucking... Well, mate, dead. I'm nading every door and pushing up. I cleared all of second. Yeah. Dude, there's a three man on first. So what do you guys think about the juice cannon? Why did this gun fall so heavily from favor? Maybe it's the fact that it's really long now and the AD strafe meta is now just the shortest gun wins. I'm not 100% sure why a lot of people in the community aren't using this gun like they used to, but it's still absolutely and utterly insane. In fact, I would go ahead as to say it's one of the strongest and fastest time to kill guns in the game, and to be on the wrong end of is an absolute nightmare. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, let me know in the comments down below if there's another gun you'd like to see me run next. I always appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching to the very end, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.